y'all it's your girl michi and i'm back with another make it monday video first off if you're new here hi my name is michi i do business fashion and lifestyle related content and if you are a returning subscriber what it is what it do and let them other people know how we be but let's just go ahead and get into it as you can tell by the title i'm going to be making a fur toe bag y'all really enjoyed the puffer toe bag that i made so let, why not make another one plus fall is coming up so but first off this is the bag i will be using this is like a win dixie like wicker basket bag i don't know if that's the right term for it but you see it you know what i'm talking about i don't even know where we got this from to be honest but we have it and we wasn't doing nothing with this so why not create it into something new y'all know i like taking old stuff and making it something different next item i'm going to be using is this jacket basically it's like this like draped over the jacket is not cute on to me. It used to be my mom, she didn't want to know more. I've kept it for so long, never knew what to do with it, but now I do, so we're gonna use it today. I'm gonna to be using the fur inside part. So we just gonna experiment and see how it turned out. So before we get into this video, if you do enjoy this video, which I know you will, go ahead and subscribe, subscribe down below, like this video, comment what you wanna see next, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload, and let go. So I'm back with both the pockets sewn together. So clearly that's where the pocket was. I'm basically, I'm left with a full solid fur fabric. What I'm going to do, let me pull this down so y'all can see what I'm doing. I have this front panel and I'm going to pretty much line it up to where it matches obviously the panel of what I have right here. Then I'm going to cut that part and then glue it onto the bag. I would sew it, but since I'm just making it for myself, I'm just gonna glue it and then if I feel like sewing it later, I will. So I'm going to be using this hot glue gun. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Um, I would also recommend you do E6000 glue, but since I don't have that right now, I'm going to use this. And then I have extra glue sticks if I need to. So I'm going to let this heat up real quick and then we'll get started. Alright, so this is the first panel of the bag. I just basically glued the edges around where the excess was extra. So, that's what it's looking like so far. I'm excited because it's looking good already. So, now we just got to do, obviously, the sides, the back, and then the other side. I'm going to just do that pretty much speed up the process because it's the same thing that I just did for the front. And then I'll get back with y'all when I get to the little handles.
okay y'all so this is what the bag is looking like so far i pretty much got everything done the front the sides of everything it looks good y'all okay so now i have to do the handles and i still haven't done the bottom part i'm probably gonna do the bottom part a little different just because it's a spur and i know the bottom part is gonna get dirty and messed up but let's just go ahead and start on the handles are done now i'm about to do the bottom part i think what i'm gonna do is the little jacket thing it comes with this like brown side put this face in the front because the bottom of the bag is gonna be like sitting on the ground or sitting on something and this is white fur already and i don't want it to you know mess up All right, y'all, so I finished the bag. I completed it, everything is, y'all, this bag is so cute. Like, I ain't even gonna lie. So let me go ahead and show y'all. This is how it turned out. As y'all can see, everywhere has the like fuzzy stuff. And I love how the jacket already had like this stitching in the inside. So it kind of gives it like a, just a different type of look, like asymmetrical strapped lines. And then y'all seen me, just glue these randomly anywhere, which helped too because it just all goes. And then on the bottom, I decided to do like the brown part that was on the outside. The inside still has the Winn Dixie stuff in it. Nobody's really gonna see the inside for real, for real. So this is what it's looking like, y'all. This is so cute. Like I already got an outfit plan for it already. One, this fur, I don't know if y'all can see it flying through the air, but it's getting everywhere. My room is a mess. I need to vacuum it. And I won't even tell y'all how many times I burnt myself with that glue gun because. But anyways, this is what the bag looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe down below. Like this video, comment you want to see next, and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time that I upload. And I will see y'all in the next one.